As NASA strives to do more frequent lower cost missions, payload mass and volume must be reduced. The JPL Nano Rover Technology Task is developing miniature robotic vehicles less than one-tenth the size of the Pathfinder rover currently on Mars. This reduction in rover mass and volume, while still carrying a credible suite of science instruments, will enable rovers to be easily incorporated into a wide variety of future missions to Mars, as well as asteroids or other small bodies. The current nano rover is built around two scientific instruments which establish the chassis size. The first is a multi-band imaging system which utilizes a JPL developed active pixel sensor or APS in conjunction with a filter wheel to capture images in multiple visible wavelength bands. A mechanism allows this camera to focus from infinity to just two centimeters in front of the rover enabling close-up imaging of rock and soil features. The second instrument is an adaptation of a commercial near-infrared spectrometer using a mechanically scanned holographic grating. These two instruments provide the needed information for planetary scientists to explore the geology and composition of surface material. The nanorover electronics have been designed as a flight-like system utilizing radiation-hard components which can survive temperature swings from minus 125 to plus 125 degrees centigrade. This design eliminates the need for a special thermal enclosure and reduces rover mass, volume, and complexity. Moreover, this flight-like design has made it very easy to transition the research developments to actual flight missions. NanoRover utilizes a novel four-wheel mobility system where each wheel is on a movable leg or strut which can be independently positioned relative to the rover body. This enables the rover to pose its body to point science instruments at targets of interest. Perhaps most important is the rover's ability to self-right should it become tipped over as is likely to occur in the low gravity environment of an asteroid. Control of the nano rover is done by creating a sequence of commands which are then transmitted to the rover. In this case, the rover is being commanded to move to a target rock and position its body to gather close-up imagery and spectral data. Once the data is acquired, it is transmitted back to the operator for display and analysis. A color picture of the rock can be generated from the multiband images. The near-infrared spectral data provides important information on the composition and mineralogy of the sample. NanoRover has been selected as the NASA payload for the Japanese Musa-C asteroid sample return mission to launch in 2002. The low gravity of an asteroid, only one one hundred thousandths of the Earth's, presents a challenging mobility environment. The rover will be deployed from the Musa C spacecraft several meters above the asteroid surface, while the spacecraft is descending for its first of several touch and go sampling operations. The rover will free fall to the surface and is likely to bounce several times before coming to rest. The impact forces are so low that no special protection system is required to protect the rover from damage. Once the rover comes to rest, it will self right and began its exploration of the asteroid surface. Due to the low gravity, the rover will have to move very slowly, less than a millimeter per second, if it is going to remain in contact with the ground and dead reckon to targets of interest. Another mobility avenue being explored is the ability for the rover to use its movable strut design to literally hop tens of meters, enabling it to move significant distances over the asteroid surface. This may allow the rover to gather overhead imaging data while in flight to help identify and navigate to science targets. Future nanorover technology development will include further reduction in rover mass and volume, 
low gravity dynamic analysis and simulation, including testing on NASA's KC-135 aircraft, and dust detection rejection systems for rover's solar panel and optical components. Thank you.